hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is direct x12 is not supported on your system try running without dx12 or dash d3 d12 command line arguments so if you are receiving this error with the game then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart steam so simply restart steam so exit it and then open steam once again and then launch the game also try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall anti-cheat and EOS services now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now over here you can see the option which says uninstall anti-cheat make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and once this is done now you can go here you can see install anti-cheat make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes and once this is done now launch the game if that does not work you can uninstall EOS services make a right click run as administrator click on yes and once this is done now you can click on make a right click on install EOS services and then click on run as administrator click on yes and then you can launch the game still not working then you can uninstall anti-cheat once again make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow once this is done now you can launch the game and when you launch the game during the launch it will install easy anti-cheat so I'm launching the game now. Now over here you can see it's installing easy anti-cheat. So once it is installed, now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users can go to amd website first of all uninstall the current version of your graphic card driver then restart your computer then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest one then again restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings now click on add a desktop click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder project owner and then select all the exe file so select the game exe file first click on add sorry add only the exe file first the game exe file and scroll down and find the game in the list uh, you may see it at the top yeah so this is the exe file now you can select high performance over here now again click on add desktop app and then open project owner folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add now scroll down and find the game in the list so here you can see the game exe file sorry the game now select high performance over here and then launch the game and then check next step is to restore 
automatic tuning in, in NVIDIA app. So if you are using NVIDIA app, you can open NVIDIA app and then go to system and then go to performance over here. And over here you can see automatic tuning. Now if the option which says restore, if this is highlighted, click on restore and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to, now this is for AMD users, install this AMD optional update. Now for this you can, you can just go to website, you can go to Google and search for this and then you can go for, go to AMD website. Over here you can see AMD uh, 225.1.1 optional update. You can click on this and you can download it. Once the download is complete, you can run this exe file and install it, then restart the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner running or if you have Reva Tuner running. So if you have these software running, make sure that you close these software. So uh, if you have like AM, um, MSI Afterburner, you can close it. If you have Reva Tuner running, you can close it or you can close all the other overclocking applications. So if you have any other overclocking application, close it and then check. If you have undervolt 3D computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. And then over here, you can see the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, turn it off and then check. Also, if you have any other overlay application, like if you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings and turn off overlay. If you have GeForce Experience or NVIDIA app running, you can just um, um, find the settings for overlay, um, in-game overlay. Let me check in settings, NVIDIA overlay. So if this is on, you can turn this off and then check or you can simply close all the overlay applications, just close it and then launch the game. Also, if you have any kind of Razer peripheral software connected, you can disconnect it, uninstall it, disconnect it and then launch the game. Now, if you have AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 in Adrenaline app, then you can disable it and then check. I don't have AMD card, but if you have it, you can open the Adrenal app and then you can go to graphics option. Over here, you can see AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2. If this is enabled, you can disable it and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to, next step is to try automatically manage paging file. Try system manage site. So for this, you can type in view advanced system settings and then go to view advanced system settings and click on the first settings then go to advance over here and then click on change over here now first of all put a check on automatic automatically manage paging file put a check over here and then click on ok and then click on apply click on ok then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check if that does not work again you have to type in view advanced system settings over here go to view advanced system settings click on the first settings and then advanced tab click on change over here and then uncheck this box and then put a check on select system manage size and then click on set and then click on OK. It will be asking you to restart your computer. So make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 
1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I've converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Still not working. In that case, the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model, select your computer and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure your charger, the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game, manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. So try to launch the game using this start protected game. So you can just make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. If that does not work, you can just make a right click on project on your client. You can make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. If that does not work, pro open project owner folder binaries win64 and then make a right click on this exe file, select properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check, still not working then put a check over here and then select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check, still not working, try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game, still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then check, still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK, and then follow the next step. Next step is to verify the game file. This is important, so go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to allow the game to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you are using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security and Windows security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security, then click on Windows security, then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it, allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow and then click on add and allow app, click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder, open the common folder and then open the game folder, select the exe file, click on open, again click on add and allow app, browse all apps, select this exe file, click on open and then click on add and allow app, browse all apps, select this exe file and then click on open and then click on add in allowed app browser apps open project owner folder binaries folder win64 this is important select this exe file and then open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then open, select the game exe file and then click on open, click on add 
in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse select this exe file click on open click on add and again click on allow another app click on browse and then select this exe file click on open then click on add click on allow another app click on browse this is important open project owner binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update the windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update our update and security and then click on check for update so click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart the computer restart is a must and after the system restart launch the game make sure your windows is up to date like you can type in winver in windows search box here you can see version 2 for h2 so make sure that you have the latest version installed and then you can launch the game and then check okay. next step is to install visual c++ file this is important so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x86 and x64 so click on x86 file click download it run this exe file click on repair if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install button click on install click on yes to allow now download this x64 again you have to run this exe file if you see install click on install if you see the repair option click on repair and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once this is successfully installed then you have to restart the computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals or any kind of external usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect it if you have like let me remove this okay now if you have any kind of uh, like extra like sometimes we have extra control connected disconnected if you have multiple monitor setup disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party sort services or application running close it and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage click on uh, click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive sometimes we install the game to external drive like d drive or f drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel